Pepperbelly back here with that Team SWAT game I mentioned in the last Halo Reach video I made, which is the only one I made, so I'm going to be putting a lot more out soon. Well, I keep saying soon, but usually it takes me quite a while. Uh, this one, i sorry I wasn't able to get it out earlier. Uh, I've had this game for about a couple of days now, and um, I've just been busy. I wasn't able to film it. So anyway, for those of you who uh, know or don't know what Team SWAT is, or anything SWAT related. It basically was a game type that was created by some smart, wise character <laughs> back in the Halo 2 era. And basically, it's a game type where you start off with no shields and you have one shot kill weapons to the head. So if you get hit once in the face, you're, well, like in real life, you're dead. So it makes sense. So that is one thing that this game is about. It basically tests your reflexes, your skill, like your movement skill, and uh, your accuracy. And that's basically, I mean, you need to be precise in this game. Precision is key here because, I mean, at a distance, there's no auto-aim, right? So you have to compensate for that. And you're shooting at guys who are moving, mostly. And if you don't, and on top of that now, in Halo Reach, every weapon has spread. So you can't just like lay down on the trigger and go like, oh yeah, I want to freaking kill you. Like in Halo 3, we have a burst fire gun with like perfect accuracy. Now, your accuracy is actually affected. So you have to actually maintain your fire rate as well as your accuracy and movement and all that. So it's just, it's actually much more challenging than it was in any of the other Halo games. And it's, a, it's generally, sometimes these game types can be really annoying. It really depends on the map. And I don't know, it, it just depends. Sometimes I get frustrated, like... I mean, Halo Reach, the Halo games are generally the only games that actually ever make me kind of rage myself into a coma, sort of, <laughs> kind of. Uh, it's, the, it's a game that's actually, like, frustrating if, I mean, <coughs> I was actually talking with a whole bunch of guys in the lobby. I know, I went into a lobby, and normally I don't ever talk to people because I'm, uh, not because I'm antisocial, but because I don't really want anything to do with them when I have personal friends I know, no offense, but, you know, I have personal friends to play with, so there's no point in meeting people online. So... But I actually went to a game and I was talking with people. I'm like, okay, you know, what do you think of this game? Everyone says it's an awesome game. But then when they're playing it and people on my team, all you hear, every time they get shot, they're always cursing and getting angry and swearing. And, you know, you just hear people going, oh, man, this is bullshit, you know, and stuff like that. And every other game, I never hear that as frequently as I do in Halo Reach. I mean, Call of Duty, you'll hear that. That's because the player either is garbage, <laughs> no offense, or he's just, you know, angry for whatever, you know, for whatever reason, just an angry person in general, but Halo Reach is one game that I hear all the time, and almost every game, people are like, what? That's, come on, that's retarded, that shouldn't even have happened, and I do that, I say that myself, too, like, a lot of things that happens in this game, like I mentioned in the previous video, just don't make sense, like, <clears throat> so much stuff happens that you have no control over, like, right now, these guys are unlucky as hell, I just spawned right over top of them, and, or they spawned underneath me, sorry, and I'm just, they're picking them off as they spawn. Like, that's not really fair, is it? I mean, what are they going to do to that? Like, that is my point. <laughs> like, some of the spawns are so broken in this game, too. Like, that's a little bit far-fetched. Maybe I shouldn't say that. It's a little bit of a stretch. It's not broken. It's just they could be tweaked. Like, I find myself way too many times. I'll go into a room. I'll clear out an entire, like, building or something. Like, a base similar to that. I'll go in there, kill everyone. It's like, hell yeah, okay, I just did a good job. Go to the roof. I'm okay, now I'm ready to snipe some people, all of a sudden I get, like, assassinated from behind. Okay, where'd you come from? I just finished killing everyone, there's a respawn timer, please explain to me how you got here so quickly. Oh, I spawned. Oh, okay, well that's really, really cheap, you know, and that actually happened to me too, not like, by me getting killed, but... Someone would kill me, and I distinctly remember, and if I can find the footage, I'll incorporate it into a future video, but... I'm not gonna promise anything on that, but I actually spawned right behind the person I killed. Like, literally, right behind him. It was absolute joke. He shot me, he was on, tip, uh, on top of a building, on top of the base, actually, uh, in kind of like a sniper location. He had pillars to defend himself. He shot me, like, from a, quite a distance. All of a sudden, I spawn at the bottom of the base. I climb to the top, he's right there, I shoot him in the head. Like, what is he supposed to do to that? You know, he just killed me. He shouldn't have to worry about me, because I'm dead, you know? He shouldn't have to worry about me coming back for a while. That's the way it is. When you kill people, you shouldn't have to worry about them, but sometimes they always seem to just come out of the strangest places and kill you. Double kill. Other things I find annoying are the control schemes. Now, okay, <laughs> I kind of said that wrong. It's not annoying. I played Halo for, like, a long time, and the control schemes are perfect the way they are. It's unique Double to the game. Kill. But 
there's a lot of people who find the control schemes annoying, and I do sound right now like one of those, uh, you know, Call of Duty gamers that just hate every other control scheme. It's not like Call of Duty because it's not what they're used to, right? Well, I mean, I've been trying out different control schemes, and there's all, I mean, there's all kinds of, you know, a lot of MLG players are, you know, okay, I like Bumper Jumper because, you know, it lets you move maneuver really effectively while keeping... You know, you can still aim with accuracy and everything, and you don't have an issue of that. Instead of having to take your thumbstick, uh, your thumb off the thumbstick for a couple of crucial seconds to press jump, then to go back to try to keep like recorrect your aim and start shooting the guy as like he's completely off your screen. Well, when you have bumper jumper, you just left bumper, and there you go. But the problem with that is that it makes almost all suit powers obsolete because of how hard it is. I mean, try flying a jetpack when you can't even turn your body. I mean. It, none of it just, it doesn't make, it's not, it doesn't function properly the way it's supposed to. So, that is one of the main issues. A lot of people like the green thumb. I've been personally trying that out myself. Uh, most Call of Duty players like it because it's like, it's very close to Call of Duty, as in like the thumbstick is to melee. Uh, you don't have to click in to zoom. It's, uh, you pull the right bumper, but that, for that, to me, that right there, right bumper is zooming in is an issue. Uh, all in itself. It's a very, very annoying uh, button have to press, and I've actually had to claw the controller. And I've, but I've been noticing, even though I felt uncomfortable using that control scheme, I've been playing generally better, because when you're getting shot at someone, and that's one thing Halo's done for years now. Is when you get hit and you're zoomed in, it takes you out of your zoom. Like it's kind of like uh, it's sort of realistic in that way. You get hit, obviously you're not going to be still able to aim down your sights, right? You're going to get hit. You're gonna be, oh, what the hell? You know, you're going to jolt and whatever. Especially if you're wearing armor in the Halo type context. I don't know. It just makes sense, you know, you're not going to be aiming down your sight when you're getting hit. And it really depends, though. But, like, that's just one thing that is really annoying, is every time you get hit, and most firefights in this game, especially with DMRs, are really frustrating, because every time you get hit, you're trying to recorrect your aim, and every time you click on the thumbstick, sometimes it'll just, like, move your, like, aim way off, and then you click in, and then you finally readjust it, right when you're about to shoot him, he hits you again, it zooms out, and you have to rinse and repeat the whole thing, until you're dead, because eventually you're never going to get a shot off because you're constantly trying to zoom in, which in turn screws you up. So, that's one of the issues a lot of people, like, a lot of, well, some people have actually, I heard, you know, mention that, and they just, it's not common. I mean, a lot of people are used to Halo for the way it is, but that's just one thing that bugs me personally. Uh, I've never had that issue with any other game, really, to say. Like, Halo 3, Halo 2 wasn't so bad because... I mean, those games weren't noob-friendly, I guess you could say. I don't really like using that term, but it's not, like, new player friendly There you go. You know, I'll say it more, like, in a respectable manner. Most gamers that are new to playing, if they aren't good in Halo 2 when it was in its prime days, uh, I remember, like, if you had skill, you were virtually untouchable. And I don't know why, like, games aren't like that anymore. Now it's like anyone can kill anyone for any reason, you know? It's like if you're just lucky to be in the right place at the right time, you can kill anyone. You can kill a whole bunch of people, you know? It's, it's all about luck and skill. Halo 2, when it was first out, was, like, all about skill. I remember it like that. I mean, if you sucked, and I, I mean, when I first started playing, I was terrible. So I would die all the time. So, you know, the green thumb controller control scheme helps with that compensating for zooming and getting hit and constantly taking you out of your zoom and everything. And I did not realize the video is done. But anyway, I'll be posting a Team Snipers game next and please rate, subscribe. I absolutely need you guys to do that and I appreciate the people who have so far and I will be coming out with that Team Sniper video as soon as I can. Good day all.